Now in the past, I've always relied on my old school rain gauge and weather apps on my phone to monitor weather conditions in my area as they relate to my lawn. Now, as you know, it's vital to keep an eye on the weather conditions like temperature, humidity, and most importantly, rainfall to ensure that you keep your lawn in top shape all season long. Gone are the days of tracking and guessing how much rain you got and the weather conditions with this home weather station from AccuRite. Now in this video, I'm gonna go over the features, the setup, and my experience with this weather station, so stay tuned. Now, if you're unfamiliar with AccuRite, they've been around for around 80 years and they're an industry leader in weather instruments. They offer a wide variety of weather stations for any budget. After researching products on their website, I opted with the AccuRite Atlas for the following reasons. Number one, this unit reports a wide variety of weather conditions, including outdoor temperature, humidity, wind speed and direction, rainfall, and even UV light intensity, among other things. Number two, the Atlas has Wi-Fi connectivity and connects to the app on my smartphone, allowing me to monitor weather conditions at my home from anywhere in the world. Number three, the unit records historical data and allows me to look back on things like wind speed, rainfall, temperatures, and even emails me with monthly updates on weather conditions on my property. Number four, it has the ability to create programmable push alerts that come straight to my smartphone and notify me of various conditions like rainfall detected and other things. Now in the box, you're gonna get the actual weather station Atlas unit. You're gonna get the mounting bracket that you can use to mount the unit, and you're gonna get the Wi-Fi display for indoor use. Now setup was fairly straightforward and the instructions were fairly easy to understand if you have a basic technical background. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is scout out an ideal spot to mount your unit. Now AccuRite recommends finding a place at least five feet off the ground that allows you to place the solar cell on the front of the unit in a southward facing direction. It also noted that the higher you place the unit, the more accurate wind data you will receive. You'll also wanna place this unit within 300 feet of your wireless router. Now, after evaluating my property, I opted to mount my Atlas unit on my roof eave. Now, I didn't purchase an optional mounting bracket on Amazon for around 20 bucks. That got the unit farther up off of the roof. The, the bracket they provided in the box did not work for me, but for 20 bucks, this thing worked perfectly and allowed me to get it up away from the roof and away from the roof heat uh, to get more accurate data. Now this spot's also within about 50 feet of my wireless router and it allowed me to get that front solar cell in a southward facing direction. Now it's also gonna be important that you make sure that this unit is mounted level so you can get accurate rainfall reporting from it. Now after installing the mounting bracket, it was time to install the four AA batteries into the Atlas unit. Now this unit also came with an optional lightning detector sensor, which consisted of just installing this sensor into the unit with the chip provided. The next step was to remove the rain gauge stabilizer that they include for shipping purposes and dispose of it. Do not skip this step because if you fail to remove this packing material, you will not get accurate rainfall data. Now once the outdoor unit's mounted and installed, it's time to go inside and set up the Wi-Fi display. Now this is where I ran into some issues in the process. I would highly recommend that you use a desktop computer to complete this step as I had some issues on my smartphone. Now in this step, you have to go into your web browser and enter the destination as noted in the instruction booklet that comes with the unit to access the Wi-Fi display settings. Now this is where you need to enter your network info and password to connect the display to Wi-Fi. You're also gonna to wanna to create an account on the AccuRite website and download the smartphone app and log into it to access your weather station info. Now this was the longest step in the entire process for me and after several tries, I was able to figure it out. But like I said, I had better luck on the desktop computer. Hopefully you'll have no issues on your smartphone if you try this, but I did. Now I've personally been using this weather station now for about two months and I can say that I've been very pleased with my AccuRite Atlas. Now I left up my own old rain gauge during this testing phase to kind of compare it to the AccuRite and I can say that the AccuRite is extremely accurate on the rainfall data down to hundredths of an inch. And I also like the programmable push alerts on my phone so I always know when it rains at my house. Now I love the historical data that I can go back and see info like rainfall today, rainfall this week or rainfall this year, even wind speeds and temperature history as well. 
This makes the data easily accessible from anywhere in the world as long as you have your smartphone and an internet connection and you can track what's happening weather-wise at your property. Now the indoor display will also show forecasted conditions for your location through Weather Underground once it connects, which is also a great feature in my opinion. Now the cost of the Atlas comes in at $239.99, which includes everything shown in this video, except for the optional mount that I purchased off Amazon for better roof mounting for my situation. Now this also includes a lightning detection sensor, and for all the features that this unit comes with and how well it's worked for me over the last few months, I think that the Accurite Atlas is well worth the price. Now, if this unit is not within your budget, I will say that they have several other quality units available on their website that are less expensive that offer similar features. Now, I plan to keep this thing up year round as it's good to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll test it out during the winter and see how it works. And if you're interested in seeing how it works over the winter and into next lawn season, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future updates. Also, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and drop a comment below. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time out in the lawn.